Hello, everybody. Welcome to Iggy's Toy Parade and Soldier Review. Yay. Thank you for that. I always appreciate that. Uh, guys, I'm in my storage space today, and it's very hot and humid in Florida. Uh, it did rain earlier. It cooled it down somewhat, but the rain has stopped, and now it's kind of steamy. And I found a tub with some Star Wars things in it that I never filmed for you. So I'm going to share these with you today. By the way, uh, give you some idea. Let me see if I can get some light in there. Turn on the flashlight. As you can see, it's kind of a... These are all things that I pulled out in order to try to get my hand in the way there. Yeah, it's all stuff that I've yanked out already. Um, so let's take a look at what I have. First up is a Darth Vader carrying case. And uh, this is by Just Toys. And it was only what nine ninety nine. That's not bad. You know, when these first came out, I put one on layaway at uh, Walmart, and I had a, a Slave One, um, this C three PO carrying case, a bunch of figures, an X wing, uh, Tie Fighter. Anyway, I was paying on it, paying on paying. I go to pick it up. She said, oh, it's not here. I said, what do you mean it's not here? And she said, well, somebody probably took it. I said, well, how, how is it that someone can take it if it's in the back? She said, oh, probably one of the employees. She acted like it was no big deal. Man, was I really upset. And, and it took me a while to get those items again. Um... They refunded me my money, but that's not what I wanted. <laughs> I wanted this. Anyway, <coughs> if you wait long enough, everything comes to pass anyway. So here it is. Now, I had a vintage one of these that I sold at the uh, flea market. I think I got 10 bucks for it. I think I'd rather have a new one like this than a scratched. It was really scratched up. This one has never been open. It's got like a... A plastic cover on it. All right, let's see what else we got here. Now, I may have shown you one of these before because I have two of them. Uh, this is a one sixth scale stormtrooper, and I have uh, Darth Vader, the Emperor, and an Imperial Guard, plus, uh, like I said, two of these. And uh, I was at a Target with my friend Doug and his wife, and uh, Doug was re he was really smart when it came to this stuff. He took his foot and opened a with his foot a um, I don't know what you call it a gondola or whatever it is a shelving system. And underneath the shelf was a whole bunch of Star Wars and other toys. And uh, there was two of these. And uh, I grabbed it out of his hands kind of rudely. I said, I want that. And Doug, Doug let me have it. And I was kind of surprised that he did that. And I'm kind of surprised that I <laughs> asked him to do that. It was kind of rude on my part. And I got this on clearance for like four bucks or something, something outrageous. Because it had been underneath that shelf for a long, long time, apparently. And it had gone clearance multiple times. So this is a great addition to my Star Wars. Now, most of my Star Wars, as I've told you before, was sold at... Uh, flea market at one time I had 288 Star Wars figures and I'm probably down to like 20 now because uh, I started selling off everything I used to have all the rebel vehicles um, but like I said probably 70% of my 
75% of my Star Wars collection is gone. Uh, this one is a special edition of Boba Fett. And it says 300th figure. Well, apparently I didn't get all of them because I only had 288. I'm glad I kept this though. This is pretty cool. Nice view of the back there. You know, it's funny in the Star Wars saga, all the people's favorite characters they kill off. Boba Fett, Darth Vader, Darth Maul, uh, Qui-Gon. Who else did they kill off? Well, if you liked them, they killed them, right? And this is a do-back patrol. This is from Star Wars. And, sorry, the light is reflecting off the, this is pretty cool. I, I used to have four of these. I think I maybe have two now. This is one of the two. I think I showed you one already. Maybe I showed you two. So I do recall selling some, one of these at least at the flea market. And by the way, I was getting nothing. Like at the flea market, you'd get like five bucks for this. And uh, maybe ten for this if you're lucky. Uh, this is... Um, this is a Micro Machines by Galoob. And it's of the Death Star. I can't lift it. <laughs> it's of the Death Star. Let's move this out of the way. And uh, you press this button over here, and the Death Star explodes. Oh, jeez. And it turns into Tatooine. There's the cantina. Here's where... Uh, Uncle Owen and Aunt Baru lived. This is also part of the cantina. I'm not quite sure. There was probably a... I think there's a land speeder that's supposed to go on here. Oh, look at... There's a uh, Tuscan Raider that pops up. It's probably broken. <laughs> Everything I got in storage is broken. Does this open up any further? I guess that was it for that. Anyway, that's kind of cool. And of course, it came with little figures and a couple little vehicles. So it's pretty neat. And that's uh, Micro Machines. Uh, I think I got this for Christmas. I think my mom gave it to me. So that was pretty cool. All right, guys, this is a short video. Um, it was kind of fun to find something that I haven't shared with you already. I'm The reason I'm here is I'm searching back there. I'm going to go deeper because there's some things that I'm missing, and I'm kind of concerned about it. And I thought, well, maybe I just didn't get to it because it's buried so deeply. So I, I hope to find it. But one of the things I'm looking for is I had a box full of Mark's uh, recast um, Civil War soldiers. And I had quite a number of them. And uh, I, I think at least a hundred of them. And I can't find them. And I have some uh, uh, Mark's Marines. And uh, what else is missing? Oh, Forces of Valor, uh, Air, American Airborne and German troops, and also British troops. They're missing. I had a lot of stuff stolen, so I don't know if it's been stolen or I just haven't found it. So we'll find out. Anyway, I got to get back to work because there's a lot going on here. 
So I want to thank you for coming along. And for those of you who uh, have been with me for a long time, you guys are awesome. And for those that have just joined me, thank you very much. And I hope I don't disappoint you. Uh, basically, this channel is not really educational. It's more just me sharing stuff that I have. Uh, there's people out there that do a much, much better job when it comes to giving you information about Airfix or Rocco Mini Tanks or Marks or whatever it might be. I'm pretty much a layman and I like the, I just like to share the things that I like and I hope you enjoy that too. Uh, so in the meantime, Execute Order 166. No, that's not it, is it? Um, execute Order 66. I don't know if that's it either. <laughs> you know, I watched uh, episode three um, last week. And uh, it's all right. But, uh, oh, you know what? I forgot to tell you this, guys. When I was unloading stuff over here, um, I had to pee really bad. So I dropped my shorts and started peeing in a cup. And while I was peeing in the cup, I was just finishing up. And a big box, one of these big boxes that was up here fell hit my arm and the cup flew out of my hand and all the pee went on the floor. And I don't know if you can see it there, but uh, that wasn't such a great thing. Iggy does uh, clumsy stuff like that. Anyway, um, I'm glad no one came around the corner because there I was with my butt out in the air uh, and my shorts around my ankles. It sounds like a, a bad prison drama. Anyway, um, you guys, I think it's time for lunch, so why don't we go to a, you know, you might be tired of hot dog stands, so let's go for pizza this time. And uh, I'm sure there's a place where you are. Guy, if you guys are in New York, you got probably have really good pizza. Um, there's a couple places in California that weren't so bad either. Anyway. You know how I ramble, so I got to stop. Uh, thanks for coming along. I I hope I gave you enough footage on these items to satisfy your curiosity. I'm going to pack these up and continue on my excavation here. Anyway, thank you. I'll see you guys at the ranch. Bye. Happy trails.